Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Bosch HBS 534 oven. What I want to do today is I want to show you around the oven some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just before I start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. Now this model actually arrives in two colours. It arrives in the black or silver. Uh, and there are two model numbers for it. There's the HBS 534BB OB, which is the black version, which is this one. Or there's HBS 534B SOB, which is the silver version. And essentially it's the same oven, just different colours. Must admit, since Bosch bought out the matte black finish, it's a colour we've done really well with. Uh, a lot of manufacturers are still making stainless steel products, uh, especially ovens, things like that. But I think people are tending to shy away from them a bit now. Uh, personally, I think stainless steel is okay. Uh, but I think for if it's proper stainless steel, sometimes it can be difficult to keep clean. Or if you've got little fingers in the house, then if you've got uh, fingerprints on the oven, it can look a little bit unsightly. And that's why people are tending to go for this kind of finish. Uh, it's, it's, this is like a glass finish, so it's similar to the door, so it's really, really easy to keep clean. I've just zoomed in a little bit to make it a bit easier to see. Uh, you will see that you've got different shelf positions. Uh, it does come with the... So you get two of these racks uh, there, and you've got... So you've actually got five shelf positions. Uh, the idea is that... And it is actually labelled on the side, I know you probably can't see it from that angle. Uh, but you've got one, two, three, four, and then at the top you've got the grill, and that's really designed for the different pans it arrives with. So you do get a separate grill pan. So the oven also arrives with these two. Uh, these are almost half pans, half the size, uh, and these are actually really good. So they still fit in as normal, uh, but it can be a good option if you didn't need the the full either grill pan or oven tray, as some people will use it for. Uh, I will mention that even though it's designed to go in any of the shelf positions, and it, that can be used as, say, the, the grill rack as well, um, then it doesn't come with a handle. Um, but it seem, For some reason, it still seems to be something that people are asking us about, to, uh, if they, it comes with a grill pan handle. And it doesn't, and the main reason for that is, is if you have a handle in the middle, it can get really heavy, um, I suppose going either side, especially if you've got food on it then you'd need to support both sides. So in answer to a lot of people's questions, it doesn't come with a grill pan handle. I'll just shut the door for now, and I'll show you some of the controls on the front here. Uh, these are uh, pop-in, pop-out controls. So I'd, I really like that kind of design. It just keeps it nice and flush. It just makes it quite easier for cleaning purposes. Uh, as far as the different options, on this oven, you've actually got a really good range of programs. Uh, so I'll just show you quickly what they are. Um, unfortunately, I've not got it plugged in at the moment, so I can't show you the display on here. Uh, but that's basically a clock or a minute minder on there in the middle. Uh, but what this will do is you just turn it depending on which program you wanted. So the first one, that's just rapid heating. Uh, that's where you can uh, almost preheat the oven uh, just without any accessories inside. The next one is the 3D hot air. Basically with the 3D hot air, it allows you to bake and roast on more than one level. Because uh, the main advantage, what it will do is it actually uses the fan at the back of the oven, which hopefully you've seen already. And what it will do, the fan distributes the heat from around the ring-shaped element at the back of the oven, and it just really helps to evenly cook around the oven compartment. Uh, the next one on there, so with that one, that's the gentle hot air. Uh, so it's a similar concept to the 3D hot air, uh, but this is really for cooking dishes gently. On, more, on really warm level without preheating. Um, so I suppose the main advantage of this, it still distributes the, the heat from around the oven. Uh, so it's, as I say, it's similar to, to the 3D hot air, um, but what you can do is you can still select the temperature from 120 to 230. Uh, it does recommend to keep the door closed. Clearly you don't want to leave the door open because you're going to be losing heat during the program. And that's the same with, with any of the programs on here. Um, and it's really, I suppose the idea is that the food is cooked in phases using residual heat. So it's just a slightly gentler program. Uh, as you go on to the next one, so that's the pizza setting. And that, as it says, that's where you can cook pizzas or dishes that require a lot of heat from below. Uh, so it doesn't tend to use the, the fan at the back of the oven, uh, but it's using the bottom heating element and the ring shaped he heating element in the back wall to heat the cooking compartment. 
as we go to the next one. That's the, the bottom heating and that's final baking or cooking food in a bain marie and heating is emitted from below. As you go to the next option, that's the full surface grill and that's as it says, that's using the grill at the top of the oven. That's ideal for cooking things like steak or sausages or toast. Uh, but that's the, the full width grill. As you go on to the next program, that's the hot air grilling. And that's the, the main advantage is that you've, you can cook things like poultry, fish or larger pieces of meat. And the grill element and the fan switch on and off alternatively. Um, and the main advantage is because you've got the fan as well, it will circulate the hot air around the food for a more even cooking. As you go to the next one here, that's the top and bottom heating. So you can traditionally bake and roast on one level. Uh, and the idea is that you can, it, it's ideal for things like cakes, uh, but that's, uh, that's another option. And then as you go on to the final option on there, that's the oven light. Now, some people have queried, why do you need just the oven light on? And personally, I think that's a really good option for things like cleaning the oven. Uh, so there's no heating involved, so it's just the oven light. Unfortunately, I can't show you it because it's not switched on or plugged in at the moment. Uh, but it's little things like that that can make life a lot easier for you. Uh, as you come over to this side, then you'll notice, again, it's pop in, pop out dial. Uh, you've got the different temperature options. So you start off at 50 degrees, and that's really good for, it could be things like proving bread. And the temperature range goes from just under 100 degrees to 275 degrees centigrade. So that is a huge temperature. Uh, I've not seen many ovens that go up to that kind of temperature. And then as you come round, then you've got the different grill options on here. Uh, so if you have selected one of the grill options, then it just allows you to set, select low, medium or high using the dial on the right hand side as well. When it comes to cleaning and maintaining the oven, you do have the option to take the glass out of the door. Now this is something that Bosch have done for quite a few years and I'm really pleased that they've stuck with this design. What you need to do is take the plastic part off at the front and then the glass will come out like that. So it's really easy for taking it out to clean. You just have to be really careful with it. You don't want to drop it. That's not really the idea. But then once you're finished, then once it's all nice and clean, then just pop that on. That just clips back into place both sides. Then you're ready to go. I'll just quickly show you the energy label on the oven. As you can see here, it's an A energy rating. Uh, you've got the different options here. So it's showing that it's 0.97 uh, kilowatt hours per cycle if you're using the top and bottom heat, or 0.81 kilowatt hours per cycle if you're using the fan assistance as well. So you will find, I think most people tend to like the way of fan cooking. Uh, it's a bit more even cooking, also it can speed it up a little bit. Uh, also it's showing that it's 71 litre capacity. And overall, if you're looking at things like capacities of ovens, which is something I always try and tell customers to, to look at, uh, then 71 litres is pretty good. If you're thinking about buying one of these ovens, I have provided a couple of links below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Bosch HBS 534 BBOB or the sister model, the HBS 534 BSOB. All I'd normally say is please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up, leave any comments below. I always ask for comments or questions. If you've got a, if you've got a question on the oven, then I've got it on display here. I know I've not got it plugged in, so I couldn't show you the display, which is a little bit of a shame because normally I like to demonstrate these things. Uh, but as I say, if you've got any questions on it, just pop it in the comments. Also, if you have got one of these, or if you have got a Bosch oven similar to this, then let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.